creeps, it's Cameron again, and welcome back to my channel where I talk about books, movies, writing, and all things spooky. And on this episode of Library Macabre, I have a review of Clown in a Cornfield by Adam Caesar. As corny as it sounds, being an Ohioan means I know a lot about cornfields. Okay, maybe I don't know a lot about cornfields, I just know what it feels like to be surrounded by cornfields at all times. The majority of the houses I've lived in have been across the street from cornfields, so just corn for freaking miles, and then more corn after that, and then, oh, is that a bean field? Yes, for like two seconds, and then it's corn all over again. I'm not the least bit annoyed by this though. I actually love cornfields. To me, they are a comfort. They remind me of corn mazes and scarecrows and a nighttime breeze rustling the stalks, sounding like children hiding inside, whispering their dark secrets. What I'm trying to say is that cornfields exhibit an unmistakable atmosphere, which make them the perfect setting for horror stories. Cue Adam Caesar's slasher extravaganza clown this novel is one of many by horror connoisseur Adam Caesar, but it is the first of his novels to be published by a big publishing house. Way to give us horror fans what we want, Harper Teen. I salute you. Clown in a Cornfield is also Mr. Caesar's first YA book, but don't let that deter you if you don't like YA. If you think about it, all slashers could be considered YA because they have primarily a full cast of teenage characters and Clown in a Cornfield is just as gory and intense as any other slasher. Think Scream, but with an even higher body count and a more serious social commentary. The synopsis reads, when Quinn Maybrook and her father move to a tiny town with a weird clown for a mascot, they're looking for a fresh start. But ever since its only factory shut down, Kettle Springs has cracked in half. The adults blame the kids with their lack of respect and their smartphones and the kids blame the adults with their outdated traditions and fear of change. Now Kettle Springs is caught in a constant battle between old and new, tradition and progress. It's a fight that might destroy the town, until one homicidal clown in a pork pie hat and a red nose decides to end it for good. Because if all your opponents die mysteriously, you win the debate by default. There is a lot of hype surrounding this book, and I can definitely see why. Just hearing news that Adam Caesar was going to be published by Harper was big news to me, but upon seeing the cover and realizing that we were getting a teen slasher with a clown as the killer, I was all in. And for the most part, I was very satisfied. This book hits the ground running. Right away, with a fun cast of characters, we've got a Midwestern town with budding conflict, which is always entertaining, and then we have a heroine who is very easy to relate to. Quinn Maybrook feels like a real person. She is not weak, but she has her weaknesses, and she isn't strong for the sake of being strong. Her strength comes from the love for her dad and needing to be there for him after the death of her mother, which is a death that is all too real. I mean, with these kind of books, you always have a character who's trying to put their life back together, but it doesn't always resonate, you know? Uh, but for this, upon hearing like what happened to her mother, I was like, wow, that's heavy and really rough. So yeah, you understand uh, why she's kind of having a hard time, why her dad's having a hard time. Even though the action doesn't really begin until about halfway through the book, the story never suffers from a slow pace. Caesar introduces the town and its inhabitants in a fast-moving fashion, all the way up until the party. And that is when things really start going down. From that point on, it is all action. And that actually might be my only complaint about the book, honestly. Uh, one of my favorite things about slasher films is a character being 
silently stalked by a masked killer. I just, I love that. This book has a couple of really short scenes like that, but not too much. I wish it had a little bit more like that. That's a small complaint from a nerdy horror fan though. So I think the majority of readers are going to prefer what Adam brings to the table. At the end of the day, Clown in a Cornfield by Adam Caesar is a fun, bloody ride and a giant middle finger to hatred in the people who embody it. If you enjoy slashers, then this is an absolute must read. I'm going to give it four and a half out of five stars. So thank you so much for watching this. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Later. <laughs> Hello?